it's okay to get rich slowly. And it's a little weird we're living in a time where that might be a contrarian take. But let's explore it a little more in this video starting now. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jay and on this channel I use my 20 years of investing experience to give you the tools and resources you need to make the most out of your money. Today's video is about a feeling I've had for quite some time now and full disclosure I was pushed over the edge to actually make this video after reading Ben Carlson's blog about pretty much the same topic over at A Wealth of Common Sense. Check that out. He's a good follow on Twitter, it's a good read. And what I've been feeling a lot lately is it's okay to get rich slowly. I am never gonna be someone that gets to post a tweet like this. This guy made over $12 million in Tesla stock alone. He says he's retiring at the age of 39 and not selling a single share. I'm never going to get to make a video like Meet Kevin. That portfolio has gone from $656,000 to over $20.5 million, which is 30X what I had at the beginning of 2020, which is really insane. And unless I start playing the Powerball and my numbers come in, I'm never gonna be an overnight get rich quick story. And that's simply because that's not how I'm built. That's not how I invest. And that's okay. I made a whole video about FOMO, the fear of missing out. And I simply wouldn't be human if I wasn't feeling FOMO every time I saw a tweet like that one before, or every time I watched a video about someone making 10, 20 times their money on some random stock they found. But the fact of the matter is that easy money and those kind of gains just aren't in the cards for me. Because if you've watched any of my videos, that's not how I invest my money. And for the longest time, that's how it was done. It just wasn't possible to get gains like this like we've been seeing in the market over the past couple of years. I was reading a post someone put online just the other day about a stock they were interested in investing in. I forget exactly what the stock was, but their thesis was over the next five or six or seven years, this stock could double or triple based on the research they had done, whatever the case they're making. And one of the top responses to that post was, bro, who wants to wait five years? I can put my money in Tesla and make those kind of gains in three weeks. And I sat there reading this thinking to myself like, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this is supposed to work. But that's kind of the market we're in and how things have become for a lot of people. But what I have to remind myself, and if you're feeling like me, what you may have to remind yourself too is there's downsides too. For every person that's made an absolute killing in Tesla, there are probably 10 people who lost everything thinking a company like Nikola was the next Tesla. And that's the thing about making these big bets on singular stocks or options or anything like that. You take the big swings, you can get the big gains, but you're also going to have the big losses. So while I'm not going to be able to post any screenshots of massive gains I've made in a matter of weeks, and I'm not going to be able to make a video for you guys saying, I just 10x my money in two weeks by buying this stock. I'm also not going to be able to make any posts like these where I lose 80, 90, or even 100% of my stock portfolio in the matter of minutes or weeks. And for me, that's a trade-off well worth making. So I take an investing approach that will make me rich, but it won't make me rich next year or the year after that. It'll make me rich 10, 15, maybe even 20 years down the road, but it's going to happen and I'm not gonna get wiped out along the way. And that's what being a diversified investor is all about. I'm never going to put my life savings on one stock that'll shoot to the moon and make me fabulously rich, but I'm also never going to put my life savings on one stock that'll go to zero and leave me begging for a handout. And that's because I've played enough poker in my life where I've had all my money in the middle of the table with a hand that's 80% to win and felt sick to my stomach. And an 80% chance to win is far more 
than most of these people are taking on these stock gambles. So I know I don't have the emotional makeup to handle those kind of swings with life-changing money. And maybe it's because I'm a little older, I've actually seen and lived through a couple of recessions, I know they happen, I've seen what happens when the stock market tanks for months or even a year plus at a time. A lot of people, even if they're in their 30s by this point, haven't seen a real recession in their investing lifetime. So they don't know what that looks like. Their whole investing career has been nothing but up, up, up. And that's why I can understand these people that take these kind of risks and develop this short-term kind of mindset. I've been saving and investing for over 20 years now. I've always taken the disciplined, diversified approach. and. At the start, yeah, progress was hard to come by. You didn't see the, the compounding or the gains. You didn't feel like you were making any process for the first couple of years. But now that I'm a ways down the line, I have more money invested now than I ever thought I would back when I started. And that's the key to the approach. It's build out a plan, be deliberate with it, and stick to it, and you'll get there. You don't have to take any moonshots. You don't have to take any excessive risks. And while it's important that this is the strategy that works for me, it's also important that this is a strategy that works. It's worked for decades and decades and decades in the past. And regardless of how hot the market is right now and how easy the money is, it's a strategy that will work for decades and decades and decades in the future. So if that's the kind of wealth building you're into, you're in the right place. Give this video a like, let me know you're with me, subscribe to the channel for more videos that teach you how to build wealth, make money investing, just a little more slowly than those other guys. And if you want more videos that'll help make you better with your money, check out these two right over here. And I hope to see you there, and I hope to see you in the next video.